Hello, this is Study Bug here, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can get a 5 on the Algebra 1 in Geometry in Florida EOC. This EOC means it's the end of course exam, and if you're doing one of these courses, you have to pass this exam in order to get credit for a class, and it's often a graduation requirement. It's really important to do well because, as I said before, it's sort of a big portion of your grade, and you want to be able to graduate when it comes to the end of the year. So these are things and resources that help me get a five, which is the highest score. So even if these methods don't work for you, you can at least look at these resources and they'll re be really helpful in studying. Okay, so one of the things that you can do to get used to the format of the test is to take a computer-based practice test. So it would take you to this screen and you should you don't really need to sign in since it's just a practice and you select the it doesn't really matter which grade you select because it will show any of these and then this is the practice test that you can take that can show you how the format goes for each of this test and it's really important because you might get confused on how the testing format is. So yeah, you might, you can get used to all these tools and I'm not gonna go really in depth in this because you might've already done this with your teacher and class. And so you should, yeah, anyway, you should basically try this out. And once you're done with that, there's also an answer key that you can find here and it will tell you the answers to all the questions. You can also find this for the geometry one too. Another thing that you should do is go to Algebra Nation and do all the tests yourselves. I personally did all the tests yourselves because it was required. And then I looked at the ones that I had the lowest grades in and I looked up those standards that do that. That's a really great thing about Algebra Nation is it shows what standards and which topics you got wrong. And again, you can also find the same thing for geometry. And besides doing the practice quizzes, as you already probably know, you can watch the videos that would have to do with specific topics. And anyway, once you're done and you've picked out what your strengths and weaknesses are, you can search up the specific standards on floridastudents.org. And again, there's Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. So for Algebra 1, you can find the resources for each standard, which is really nice. I didn't really know about this. Like, teachers would post it on their Etsy page, but I didn't realize what a good resource this was until I checked it out myself. And you can find the same thing with Geometry and Algebra 2 and, like, basically almost other subjects. So if you're, like, a Florida student and you're, like, struggling in different standards or in specific subjects, this would be really helpful. And everyone's favorite Algebra 1 Khan Academy practice, which you probably know what Khan Academy is. You watch videos and then they have practice problems. And the same thing you can do for geometry. I personally like Algebra Nation better than Khan Academy because Algebra Nation is more specific towards the EOCs and stuff. And it would probably be more helpful, but Algebra but Khan but Algebra Nation could be a good supplement with Khan Academy. So it, yeah, Khan Academy could just give you extra practice, which is what I mostly use it for. In addition to these resources, you can always um, go to your ex your teacher and ask them for practice and do ex ELP, and that could help you a lot because I did that with my teacher and I really it really helped me understand. And you can also look at your past semester reviews or your EOC reviews. Also, another thing that's cool is some, like FOBS, they do review classes at the end. So ask your teacher about that or please take a look on your messaging page and maybe your teacher will say something about it. These are basically some general tips that I'll probably end this video with. Make sure you understand the tools and get used to the format. You really don't want to be wasting time trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, you would probably, like I said before, use the computer-based practice test on FSA assessments. And also know what formulas you're provided. 
This is especially important for the geometry and EOC because sometimes you're, you have to memorize the formulas, especially for the volumes and surface area. And also don't always depend on the multiple choice because a lot of the questions aren't multiple choice. I know for geometry, you have to know the proofs and the reasoning behind your answers. And there's this one girl for this whole second session that I know that didn't get any multiple choice and they're all still in the blank and matching. And those are really important to get right because if you get one of the proofs wrong, one of the matching wrong, this also goes for algebra, then you get the whole question wrong and you don't want to do that. And finally, you should have confidence in self, yourself. You got this. You've been studying for it. You've been preparing this whole year. And I'm pretty sure you guys will all do amazing. Okay, that bit pretty much ends our video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And happy studying. Bye.